You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. Boy, I am going to make this simple for you. Really simple. You give me the name of the one you work for. I spare your life. And the lives of your family members. You try to be stubborn and stupid. And then I'll kill you Of course, I know that you work for that sleaze bag that calls herself Adam Shari. Because I am a duke of this town. But you're going to tell me where to find her. But I am just dead now today. But you're closer to her. Sorry, sorry, not the property in question, the one you're talking about. Somebody is interested and just left here not quite long and is willing to pay. Are you talking about um, uh, the guy called Clifford Oji, right? Can I tell you something? He's a poor man, he's a wretched poor man. I will double whatever he was offered to pay. How much? 220 million naira. And it's not any I'll give you 255 million naira. And to tell you how serious I am, if you agree to give me the property, I will call my account officer right away and we'll do the transfer. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is it, eh? I see what is going on here, Chief. So this right here is the reason you dropped the phone on me before I could make you understand what exactly I was proposing. You see, before that property, I'm not ready to sell it any longer. Of course you're willing to sell. Just that you feel that this penniless tout here would make you a better offer. Let me ask you. How much is she offering you? 255 million. And as a businessman, I, I want you to understand that I need to make profit. Oh yes, of course I understand that. But I also hope that you understand the risk of betrayal and broken promises. Because I, Clifford OG, would not forgive you. Oh, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth and stop whining like a baby. Chief did not betray you. 
He's a businessman just like you and I. And no business can be conducted successfully without funds. You are the one queer street. Three hundred million. Three hundred and fifty million. What do you think you're doing? You show up here to cause chaos. You challenge me in my own town. Do you not think that you're making a big mistake? I don't make mistakes. You are the one making a mistake. Not to realize that this is the dawn of a new government. A duke who goes to land to get out copulas and all. Isn't that an empty duke? <laughs> like I said before, you are making a mistake <laughs> and it is going to cost you. People, oh, that property belongs to me and I decided who I sell it and at this point I have decided to sell that property to the Sharon. You heard him? Take your book and while it's still happening. Oh yes, I had him. And I shot the both of you. But I'll be back. <laughs> I will show you that I am the Duke of this town. I run this city. You just live here. <laughs> sorry, sorry, madam. Sorry for that. Sorry. 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 She is big, she is strong, she got the money, she got the power. Who's gonna test her? Are you okay? She is big and strong, can't you see? Did she ask questions? Did she ask us? That is the things that should have come to my town and mess with me. Chief should have told her that someone is interested in the property. Oh, just shut up! You ever do anything right in your life? I'm asking you, if you had done proper background check, I would not have been dragged into this kind of humiliation. Big bro, I did. I did. I was shocked at what happened today because it was just yesterday they put up that property for sale. Imagine the humiliation you have just given. She's your brother and not your enemy. Don't tell me to calm down. That boy has never done anything right in his life. You are dragging me into his mess. Right into his mess to mop it up. But that's what brothers do for themselves. I don't care. Imagine the kind of humiliation that boy put me through today. Some woman from nowhere shows up here thinking that she can run this town. <laughs> I have news for her. Jonah! Boss. Come here. I want you to dig that woman up. Eh? Dig everything up. I need you to tell me where she lives, who she works with, who works for her, her close associates, everything. I want you to go as far as digging up her bank profile. 
Let's know how much is worth. Huh? Do you understand what I'm saying? That idiot thinks that she can come into my town, dance on my nose, and then balance well. Ajurese. But I am going to show her that I am the king of this city. My name is Clifford Oji. I run this town. Every other person just lives here. Get the info. 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 Introduction. They call me Clifford Oji. I run this town and learn and not with all these subjects. I call it shots. Max. Why are you sitting there? Wifey. I want to ask you a question. Okay. Am I so despicable that my brother cannot see anything good in my effort? Max, you are not despicable. As a matter of fact, you are smart and intelligent. That's how I see you. Your brother may not see you like that, but trust me, I do. And I want you to see yourself as such. So why? Why does he always see me as a man without ability? Is it my fault that the business collapsed? Is it my fault that the owner of the property decided to sell it to someone else? How is this my fault? Shh. It's okay. None of this is your fault. Okay? And I need you to know that. How I wish my brother is a little bit like you. You're an angel. Max, your brother is a good man. I understand him and I know he hates to lose. Okay? Don't worry yourself, he's going to come around. Until then, just go in, get yourself some drink. I think you'll feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love alcohol, that's what makes you happy. Nina, you need to help James run that self-imposed duke out of this city. He has monopolized the drug racket for too long. It's time for a change. Lady S, there's only one way I know we can work this out. What do you have in mind? First of all, we need to target his end-to-end -end market. That's the locals. Mm. Oh, that is good. Very good. But as long as we don't make any mistake, as long as we don't, you know, get ourselves into a trap, you all know Clifford OJ. You know the kind of man that he is. We we'll make any mistakes, he will get us down. He will hunt us down. He will take us down. Yeah, I understand. Having secured the local markets, next is the brothel. And um, Clifford Orgy controls 70% of it. His charges to these girls are extremely high and alarming. If any of them complains, they'll disappear overnight. Lady S. Um, I think if we secure two spots each in the city, Clifford Orgy will be seriously rattled. 
And the truth is, um, this city is long overdue for change. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not, I'm not here for a change. I'm not the Messiah. I'm here to have my business grounded and rooted. I'm here to take over this city. And uh, I will take out and root out anything that will stand as an obstacle to my being, you know, the dawn. And Clifford Orchie is an obstacle to my bouncing back and taking this city. Then, we take him down and make you the lord of the underground of this great city. Let the games begin. Cheers to the new dawn of this city. <laughs> the arrival of Lady Sarah. Drink, drink up. <laughs> Um, we were at the bar, so he had a little excess of alcohol. I had to drive him back. Oh my god. A little excess of alcohol or a lot of alcohol? Um, sir, it's not. So Allow the young man, let him stand on his own. Stand straight. Oh my god. If you're not sober enough to go to your room, by yourself, I am going to hit you again. Oh, that's rather too harsh. What if you injured him? Give me car key. Let me drive to my car. What key? Oh my God! I don't think. <coughs> Max, please just. Um, uh, I'll, I'll take my leave. That's okay. That's rather too harsh. Now, know, what's uh... too harsh is that idiot. Wasting my money on women and alcohol. Now that's money that I worked very hard for. And what's inappropriate is how you try to shield him and protect him all the time, in spite of himself. Why do you do that? Really? Oh my God.
Mask. Ah, wifey. Good morning, wifey. Good morning to you. And hope you feel better this morning. Yeah, much better this morning. Good. I'm sorry for yesterday. Well, you shouldn't be apologizing to me. You should tell that to your brother because he's really mad at you. I owe my brother no apology. Yes. Do you think I've forgotten that he hit me yesterday? Whereas he was the one that pushed me outside. He made me drink. When he believes nothing good comes from me. Um, I know that, but I want you to know your brother wants the best for you. Yes, Don't you ever forget that. Okay? So, have you had something to eat this morning? No. Okay, I'll fix you something. All right. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, I trust you.
drive. Sika, I'm more again in the call. Oh, my pick the call. Pick the call now. I'm more. Which I go tell this guy. I'm more. This thing time you. Guy, on how we be, we go tell him the truth, cause he go still know. Guy, guy. Hello. Ojo, what the heck are you talking about? What do you mean? I I don't understand. You mean your ghosts are are still with you? Ojo, you of all people where I know very well, yeah? They sell Kia Kia under three days. You don't sell your goods finish. This one where you come, they tell me, say, your goods still there. I know. I know, buyer. Nothing, boss. Take your goods and go. I still get another goods to sell. Uh-uh. Ojo, you know you're lying. Yeah? And where they pen me pass, be saying na me, na me you they like give Ojo. <coughs> um, Ojo, Ojo, listen up, listen. If you're not in need of our consignment any longer, why not man up? Man up and tell us. Why are you behaving like a baby? Are you scared of something? Nah, yo, Ojo, me I go tell them oh. Guy, I calm, go tell. Guy, calm down. What's up? Calm down. Oga, on how we be. Your goods now nah, they on a high price. And as it day like this, we don't see who they give us on a smaller price. And as it be like that, and I day a day. Uh, who be that person where they give you on a cheaper level? Nah, nah, I make a con they tell you, may you come off food for my mouth. Ojo, me, I don't come all year. Ojo. Ojo. <clears throat> you know, what are we gonna do now? Very soon the Duke is gonna be shouting here. Yeah. For the downflow in business. This is serious. Nigga, there is no two ways about it. We just head home and tell him the truth. Mm. All right? Comfortable over us. I don't understand. Is there a reason I shouldn't be? This is five years since we got married. And I've not been able to have a child. Yet you are so unbothered, so relaxed. Why are you this comfortable? Oh, don't you want to have a child? Wait, man. <laughs> I'll tell you something, my darling wife. The difference between your gender and mine is that we're logical and you all are very emotional. I am comfortable because this is not a fight or a battle that you win with strength. Huh? 
A child is a gift from God. A child is something that you are blessed with by Mother Earth and all of the cosmic forces that works with it. When is our time to be blessed with a child? We shall be blessed with one. Hmm? You have to come with me to the hospital. We need to find a solution. It's not even like our sex life is active. You don't have this drive to make out with me despite I'm your wife. I am worried. Um, can we talk about this later? Huh? I have business to attend to. Business? Can't it at least wait till I'm done talking? No, my darling wife, it cannot wait. Call the doctor, fix an appointment with him, and I promise that I will show up, okay? And as for sex, you want us to have plenty of sex. I got a lot. Tonight, I shall make love. Sweet love to you, my darling wife. Uh, shh. It's okay. Is all gonna. Oh, Didioka, I am sorry to say this, but we've run out of market. People are saying that someone else is supplying them the same. Draw Dog used to supply them at the half profits. I am, I am very sure that they are very afraid of this person because I have done everything within my powers to make sure they tell me who the supplier is but they block him to the Yes, Duke. He is right. We are slacking in fishing out this person. We need to up our game. Only one individual. Only one individual would choose to be so irresponsible and callous enough to come into my domain and try to mess with my business. Lady Sharon. I think so too. To do what do we do? What do we do? We fight. We fight. War is the only thing that makes a warrior stiff in where he hears the drums of war. Then he is forced to assume the very nature of a tiger. To take down everything standing in its way. But you, Jonah, your incompetence has made that woman powerful. I give you a simple assignment. Find out who she is, where she lives, who she works with. 
dig up her account details. I want to know how rich or how broke she is in real times. But you have failed. And then you come here to tell me how a woman that you have made powerful is killing my business. I will not continue to tolerate an incompetent member of my team. Give me the information that I want. Or you risk the possibility of facing my wrath. Get the info, get the info. Introduction. Introduction. They call me Clifford or Clifford. I run this town in London, not with all this such a corruption. This is my town, whether you like it or not. I am the mayor. Get the info. Does he know where the bait is coming from? Not at all. Soon, he will be out of business. Then we can return to the Even a little bit higher, very soon you will have no rival in the rackets. Yet, you all still need to be on guard. Clifford is not a pushover, he's smart, he's cunning. And he's gonna try to fight back, bite back and take over the market. But you need to be on guard, tight in security. And be on alert, always. Roger that, Lady yes. Sure. Okay. Clifford is not concerned about this. And he has never for one day asked why. Okay, Priscilla, why are we unable to have a child? And any moment I try to bring it up, he tries to shush me up. And you think I shouldn't be concerned? Oh yes, my darling, you should be worried, I know. But for the fact that you both have been to the hospital and the doctor said you both are medically fit to have children, my darling. Calm down now, eh? The Clifford I know loves you and you love him. Don't forget, you're still very young and pretty. So as time goes on, you'll have your children. You're not getting it. I'm not saying I'm too old to have a child. But my major concern is he wouldn't even take the drug the doctor prescribed for us. He practically said no to it. 
You know, that's the area I really don't understand about Clifford. But my dear, if you ask me, like I said, you don't get to the world now. Eh? You and I know Clifford loves and cares about you. So you should calm down. Or, oh, wait a minute. Is there something I don't know? Is there something you're not telling me? Girl, I'm not disputing he loves and cares about me, but I'm worried. Okay, what if his people start to ask questions? And you know this part of the world, women get to be blamed for everything. And I don't want that. Girl, I'm very worried. I need to do something. If you really want to have a child, trust me, I may have a solution. You are you were going to try it out. <clears throat> hey. Since you already know all this, then why are you worked up? My girl, you should be happy and relaxed, trust me. <laughs> all this belt that my husband has amassed, and there's no one to inherit them, it's not God. I know. Hello, Her Majesty. Hi, Max. Hi. Hi. Where have you been? I have been around. Your beauty keeps glowing every day. Thank you. But you actually left this house since four days without communicating. You couldn't even call nor test. Why would you do that? I owe you an apology first, but later I will give you the full gist. But not now, because you have a guest. <laughs> Let me go upstairs, have a quick nap. I'll be back for you, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, she's actually my high school friend, Alice. Alice meets Maxwell, my husband's only brother. Oh, hi, Maxwell. Alice, you're welcome. Yeah, you look good. I can see that Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, take care. Yeah. All right, see you guys later, okay? Uh, yeah. He's actually so sweet and dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> So we can hear their conversations. Yes, I'm trying to get him. Hello, ma. Yes. I'm done with boat supplies. Exactly the way you said. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming. He's going to see his boss. Come on, follow him. Just follow him gently. Don't overspeed. We can afford to lose him now. Go, go, go.
we have found where the bitch is hiding. Let's go back and tell the Duke. No. I think I have to use a taxi and go tell him myself. You have to stay here and keep an eye on them. You can't afford to lose them. Oh. <clears throat> I'll go instead. You know, you are the IT man here. Do your thing. Hmm? Get your conversations and okay. then I'll be back before you know it. It's alright. Where's the deal? He's already got him. Follow the car to the place you believe is the woman's home. That is good. And how about the chip? Is it working? Yes, sir. It's working perfectly. You boys have done well. Um, tell Tolu to ensure that he gets back to me. Uh, whenever I receive that, you receive. Huh? Yes, sir. One more thing. Let me open it. Okay. I only want to know the reason you're sparing her life. When we can easily take her out and stop her from all this madness. Why kill her when I can make her suffer? You see, when suffering is old. Do not accept death as payment. Mm -hmm. I am going to make her suffer. I am going to make that woman suffer. 
But if she's wise, she is going to pack up and leave my city. Get the info, get the info. Introduction. Introduction. They call me Clifford or Clifford. I run this town in London, not, not with all these such a I call the shots. This is my town, whether you like it or not.